This is Dr. Kalyan Chakravarti. I'm a consultant endocrinologist at Idea Clinics in KPHP, Hyderabad. Today, I'm going to be talking about hyperthyroidism and uh, why does it happen, what are the symptoms uh, and how to treat it. Hyperthyroidism is a condition where your thyroid gland, which is a gland sits, which sits in, the, in your neck, it produces more hormone than what is essential. There are two or three reasons why this can happen. One, well, sometimes it might be some nodules in the thyroid which is producing more hormone. This is more commonly as, uh, found found in the uh, in the people who are 50 and above. In younger population who have hyperthyroidism, it is generally due to a condition called Graves' disease, where the whole of the thyroid gland starts producing more hormone due to a stimulation called uh, due to a stimulation called a thyroid antibody which is a an antibody which is targeted against our own cell our own immune system uh, works against us it produces antibodies that uh, that stimulate the thyroid gland rather than destroying it like in hypothyroidism it stimulates it to produce more thyroid hormone than what is necessary causing all the uh, symptoms of hypothyroidism so this is graves disease there are some other reasons why it happens it's because of thyroiditis where there is a transient attack in the thyroid because of a, a transient viral infection or a, a transient inflammation and that can give you something called thyroiditis where your thyroid gets inflamed it it starts giving out all the uh, thyroid hormone out into the system but it generally settles by itself but uh, this is very rare generally it is either the graves disease or because of some nodules so uh, these are the causes of why this happens what are the symptoms how uh, one can recognize whether they have hypoth hyperthyroidism in stark contrast to hypothyroidism, hyperthyroidism increases your basal metabolic rate. It increases the, the pace at which every cell in your body works. So one may uh, experience mainly symptoms that are related to the heart, which is increased heart rate, palpitations, high blood pressure, uh, sweating, tremors. Um, then patients can get confused or you know very agitated, mood swings, uh, increased bowel frequency, weight loss. Um, so exactly opposite of what you would see in hypothyroidism because your body is working in a fifth gear constantly you're running at a rapid pace it's just like a body is constantly doing a marathon and so the person will become tired also he will not be able to have enough energy to last him through the day so the patients can actually get tired by the end of the day and that is also one of the common symptom of hyperthyroidism and uh, once you recognize any of these please check your thyroid functions or consult an endocrinologist who will then start treatment. What are the options available for us for hyperthyroidism? We can either start on medicines. They are designed to block the iodine treatment, iodine that is taken up by the, the thyroid gland. Thyroid gland's main source of fuel, your thyroid hormone is an entity of four thyroid, uh, your T4 is a, an entity of four iodine molecules. Your T3, which is another thyroid hormone, is an entity of three iodine molecules. So it is just a co combination of a, a protein called thyroglobulin and, and iodine molecules. That is your thyroid hormone. So what this anti-thyroid drugs do when we give it for hyperthyroidism is block the thyroid from taking up iodine from the blood circulation. And what happens consequently, we can halt the, the, uh, the factory. We can halt the thyroid manufacturing process to the pace that we want to. If the thyroid is producing up to 300-400%, we have to slowly reduce it down to 100% of, of whatever the capacity that the patient is uh, producing. So we give anti-thyroid drugs. Whether this is permanent or temporary, it depends. Some people respond very well. They don't need tablets more than one year. Some people have a large goiter or some IDC eye signs and some people require a longer disease lo longer uh, course of treatment uh, because the disease tends to be longer or sometimes we give something called a radioactive iodine what is radioactive iodine it is just a iodine as i just told you thyroid is uh, thyroid is a very hungry hormone hungry for iodine especially when it is producing it at a much higher rate just like in thyrotoxicosis so it will take up all the iodine that is available in the blood circulation now radioactive iodine is a way where we poison the iodine we give a poisoned iodine to the thyroid and the thyroid just takes up all the poisoned uh, iodine and just kills itself as essentially so we are not depending depending on that abnormal thyroid gland to produce your thyroid hormone anymore anymore we stop making that thyroid from that thyroid gland we put it aside and then we give you thyroid hormone 
as a replacement orally. So that is the treatment for hyperthyroidism. Predominantly, it is antithyroid drugs. If sometimes if the antithyroid drugs fail or if the disease is going up too, too long, we can give radioactive iodine. Other than that, it's a safe disease. You will not have any or major problems with it as long as the thyroid levels are well controlled it's an easy disease for the endocrinologist to see uh, to treat so if you have any doubts please um, write in the comments box and we'll be happy to answer thank you very much for listening